Okay, so now we're on our way to Hilltop, and I'm just going to show you some of the areas around here. Uh, they call this over here to the left, there's Tacoma Self Storage, and they call it, this time of year, Tacoma Elf Storage. They take out the S so that, uh, you know, for Christmas, kids think that it's, you know, they're talking about the elves. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to take you now to the um, Hilltop area, and I wanted to basically kind of go out from that a little bit to kind of show you what you're working with. Now again, this area here has a lot of small offices, warehouses, things like that, but really nothing that is, you know, not a lot of retail, I would say. Okay, and of course, most of downtown, the bulk of the buildings are over to the right south and right of here you see a few people walking around there's a lot of apartment buildings uh, here that have cropped up not that long ago so you're seeing those all right Yakima still got a little bit more to go a lot of times Hilltop I have to stumble upon it I'm still new here you know, like a lot of people would be easily able to get to where they got to go and they're there. I have to stumble upon it, especially when I don't have my GPS going. But I know I can still get to it this way. Here, there's a lot of apartments and condos and various different things. Let me see here. This, again, gives you a general area to look at. There's a lot of houses, but again, you don't really see a lot of issue. You know, are there people out walking around? Yeah. You see a lot of men and a lot of students because you're close to the, so a lot of people with backpacks, you're close to the university. Excuse me. So, excuse me, you're going to see a lot of that. And they rent houses and apartments over through here because it's a lot more, I mean, it's affordable. But you do see some people who are out who are possibly homeless uh, roaming about but again no one's doing anything and again I'm over here and you don't see you don't see crime you don't see stuff you just don't that's a woman there she's walking by herself she's on her phone I mean it's just not it's not what people try to make it now I'm not saying back in the day this wasn't the case. I think I'm way too far now. <laughs> I think I'm way too far. I was looking for like a cross street that would be easy, but I think I'm, I think I'm way too far, I believe. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm waiting to see if up on this clearing here by this light, if that's what I want. If not, then I'll just head back down and you guys got a little bit of an extra tour. Let's see. Let's see what this street is. Um, no sign. And it's caution lines. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what the street is because I don't have my GPS going because I'm using my phone to record. But, let's just cruise down this, this area here. There's a house for sale. It's been remodeled. You see a lot of those. Obviously, it's been flipped. Some of those we've worked on. <laughs> you see businesses here with that plastic. They're redeveloping uh, businesses uh, along this area. Again... And that's, look at all these brand new houses. You can't see it, but over here to the left, all of these houses have been remodeled. There's like four or five in a row that's been remodeled. All fresh paint on the outside. And what is this? This tells me, okay, 19th Street. This is what I wanted, 19th Street. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because that is the end of the area with downtown and it runs perfect to what I'm looking for. So this is perfect. 
Um, this is how I find Hilltop. I know it's sad, but this is how I do it. <laughs> I was still technically in Hilltop, I believe. Those who are here know better. Um, but this is Hilltop. It's just quiet. I have the windows down. It's just quiet. I'm going to turn where the hospital campus is because that's also considered to be the um, medical mile for us. This is where the children's hospital is, the general hospital, all of those. People talk about black owned businesses and that type of thing. We well, see a lot of them right in this general area here. So I'm going to turn on MLK because the streetcar line, the expansion is going to stop right here on 19th, which is where we're at, and MLK. So you have Ezell's uh, Famous Chicken, which I haven't ate there yet, but I want to. Um, so you can see the streetcar construction, and again, we're right in Hilltop. And this is even perfect. I can drive slower so you can hear if there's any issues. This is where all of the, again, where a lot of the hospitals are, you're going to see. We actually thought about buying a house right here. Literally, it was one of these houses. I can't remember now which one. And uh, we didn't do it. But look at the construction we would have faced if we did. So, People's Community Center is right here also. I believe this is the one where they have the uh, pool. They opened up a really nice pool right here. This building with the flag, I don't know if you can see it, but it's on the left. Or no, that's the police department, my bad. So this is one of their substations. I think the community center was back there just a little bit. Planned Parenthood's over here to the right. You have the stop mark, which I don't know if it's, I'm gonna roll this up, it's cold. It's still in business. So this is Hilltop at night, and we are at 1.42. Now we had my air on kind of cold, so <laughs> it was cold in here. I have the air on, but it's cold. Again, sorry for my dirty windows, but there's literally no one out. Up here is the businessy area of Hilltop. This is where... Uh, a lot of businesses that are coming in that are gentrifying the community. I mentioned that. So you're gonna see a lot of that. You still have a lot of the old businesses that have been here for generations, forever. But uh, you're starting to see changes happen. Uh, and again, you know, just there's, there's one person here. It's an old, old lady with a phone on. There's a guy walking. There's another guy there on the corner. There's another guy. Some of these people, the guy on that corner there on the right could possibly even be a cop. There's another guy. And some of these people are probably selling stuff. Street pharmacist. <laughs> so, you know, obviously you're going to see that. But in this over here, Mr. Mac LTD, which is on this corner right here, um, that I just passed on the left. They're one of the businesses that have been here for a, a long time and they plan on staying. We have an empty lot right here to the right, which I could see easily being developed. Lots of little cool businesses. There's a lot of uh, Asian food places here too. But again, there's really nothing to be that concerned with. And, let, and I've said this before, could, you, could I get myself in trouble? Sure, I could go back there with one of those guys and smack them. Or I could go back there with one of those guys and do something illegal. And of course, you're gonna put yourself in harm's way. But as long as you mind your own business and you don't, now here's a homeless camp right here to the left. There's maybe, one, two, three, three or four tents right there. But I don't see any people out right here. You see a lot of nice little homes right here. 
Um, you have some businesses in some of these homes. You have apartment buildings now, the Pennington Apartments. Now there's, Hilltop is massive. If you go onto our website, which I need to put the link in the description box below, but you can click on this interactive map and it talks about Hilltop as well as a lot of other neighborhoods in Tacoma. There's a little cat. Even the cat's just walking, chill, you know, just chill, not running. Um, but you can, you can click on Hilltop. It's a huge area. I can't drive through all of Hilltop because it'll take up forever. This video is already past 10 minutes. Um, but literally, Tacoma Medical Center is over here to the left behind me. Uh, Kaiser Permanente is right here to the right in front of me, the blue. Children's Hospital is up here too, I believe, unless I've already passed it. No, he knows these better than I do, um, these areas. Uh, yeah, the Children's Hospital is right here. Parking garage, there's people walking around, people leaving the hospital. There's just not really... And the reason why I think the businessy area of Hilltop has a chance to really grow and bloom is because of the simple fact that it is close to the hospitals, you know, and people want a quick way. They don't want to have to get in their car and leave. So I think with the Tacoma link, once that gets completed, I think you're going to see a lot of those businesses fill in. And the streetcar actually will go up. So here's the vision. So it actually goes up there where you can see the construction sign. It actually goes caddy corner up to the left, and then it goes down, and then back over, and then it connects to downtown. We're gonna head downtown again. But this is basically Hilltop. I mean, there's other parts, obviously. Uh, and I'm sure people will say, well, you didn't show them everything in Hilltop. And there's not a specific address that I can definitely give you. But uh, yeah, this is, this is it, you know? This, this is it. I see a Tacoma cop. And then literally right in front of us, if we go up to past this light and you see all of those little white lights to the right, that is right to park. So right here, over to the left or to the right is the right park, which we haven't been to yet. Then in front of me, right here with the pretty lights, is Ryan House, which came from Seattle. It came here. You see all the glitz and glamour because this right here is stadium. So you can see how one neighborhood bleeds into the other. S stadium here has all the hoity-toity. You got the Orange Therapy Fitness and Mud Bay. No offense to these people. Mud Bay is basically a high-end pet food place. Uh, no, I mean, not not shaming them at all. I think it's awesome. You have a lot of the spas and labellas and all of this other stuff, right? So literally, you can see how far we were from, you know, the, the businessy part of Hilltop to really right here. And now, these are apartment buildings here that you can actually, this is Orion right here, which I had talked to some people about. I don't know much about them. People ask, where's a good place to live? I don't know, to be honest with you, in terms of apartments. I can just tell them that I know that that went through a refurbishment. Harmon has another tap room, which is right up here to the right, right in front of us with the big H. Sorry, the roads are kind of crappy. Uh, and guess what? Now you're pretty much right back into downtown. So downtown is all in front of you and then uh, over to the left. So that's pretty much it. That's That was Hilltop. I mean, there's more parts of it. There's areas. I could take you to the part where there was the shootout that happened back in the 90s, I believe. Um, but again, that area is quiet and sleepy. And I can tell you that for a fact because we actually were going to get a house right on that street. The only reason why that fell through for that house was because the guy that flipped that house did some shoddy work. The foundation was cracked. Uh, there was, uh, the electric was bad. 
Like he really and truly did a cheap flip. He made it look really nice. It had a lot of fruit trees and everything. We talked to a guy that lived there, an older black man and his wife. They had lived there for 30 or 40 years. Uh, here's the Afua Romero store, which I talk about. This is where we've been. This is the craft store over here to the right uh, that you know we go to. We get all types of cool stuff. But uh, anyhow, so I talked to this older gentleman and I asked him, Opera Alley's right down there to the left. I asked him, I said, you know, is there any violence or crime or loud noises or shootings? He said, no. He's like, you know, for the last few years, nothing. He said, see a few families moving in, that type of thing, but nothing, nothing crazy. Now, has there been violence that has happened in Hilltop uh, this year? Yes. There have been a couple of homicides, I think, that happened uh, over in that area that I, I don't know the circumstances around it, to be honest with you. Uh, so I don't want to quote something that's inaccurate. Here's Rialto Theater uh, for the video that I talked about with downtown. There's Rialto and here's Pantages right in front of us. But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, drive tour with me of Tacoma. We went to the Dome District. We went to downtown. I showed you Hilltop, the notorious Hilltop, right? And I also showed you Pacific Avenue, basically from 75th Street all the way into downtown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually learned some things that I didn't know before just by driving around. Things do change all the time down here. There's a lot of construction going on. Uh, we're going over the Tacoma Link tracks right now. But a lot of stuff happens down here and changes all the time uh, because we're really still on a building boom. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. It was really, really fun. And of course, until next time, I will see you. Take care.